Hey guys, this is a new tag that's going around. I just saw it last night through my friend Curly Wavy Diane here on YouTube. She tagged everyone watching to do it, so here are my answers. First question. The Beauty Fairy says that you can try any product of your choice that is otherwise out of your budget. Which product do you choose? I said that I would probably try the Jessie Curl products because I've heard that they are absolutely amazing, but they do cost, I think, around $15 a bottle, which is pretty expensive. Um, I was also thinking that I might try the Diva products, which are, I think, $20 a bottle or $40 if you get the big size, um, but since Diva is where the Curly Girl method originated with Lorraine Massey, I thought I might like to try some of her products. Question two. The Beauty Fairy has given you one luxury product to have free for the rest of your life. What product is it? I said it would probably be argan oil, uh, the pure stuff, not, you know, an argan oil serum like Moroccan oil. Um, I've heard the Josie Marin, if I'm saying that correctly, I've heard that brand is good to go for it. You can get at Sephora, but that is 40 or $50 a bottle. Um, argan oil is very expensive. If you've ever used argan oil products, you probably know. Um, but it's supposed to be absolutely amazing um, for your hair because it's moisturizing and it's packed with nutrients. It's supposed to be good for your skin, good for acne, hyperpigmentation, which I I'm still dealing with so I thought I might like to get some of that. All right, question three. What would be your three wishes for miracle products from the Beauty Fairy? Um, I said first off I would like to have some kind of magic hair eraser kind of like um, like a laser treatment that you could do at home only it would be like permanent. Um, you know I can deal with shaving my legs and you know waxing my upper lip and obviously I'm okay with my arms being the way they are but just I have some other areas on my face that are really hard to get like over here my jaw and under my throat they, they really bug me obviously I'm not going to try shaving them and depilatories really burn my skin um, so right now I sugar which is like it's like DIY homemade version of waxing but again some of these areas are really hard to work with especially under here they're just they're fine but they're there and I can feel them all the time and it would be nice just to get rid of them so that would be wish number one wish number two would be like a curl pattern booster I've talked about this before it's one of my pet peeves about my hair it's not so noticeable now because it's nearing summer the humidity is up and it's helping my hair turn more into ringlets but still in the back of my head I'm um, I still have much looser waves and then in the winter too my hair just gets really limp and elongated and it doesn't curl much so if I could boost my texture up to like a 3a or maybe even like a 3b just something that has a little more oomph that would also be great and then the third thing that I said this is I guess kind of sort of beauty related would be uh, a weight loss trick. Uh, I gained a lot of weight up through high school and I've lost most of it but I have a stubborn bit that's still remaining and then with being in college it's really hard. I try to eat well when I'm at school but it's just a fact of life for me that I have to work out a lot in order to lose weight and when I'm in school I don't have the time to put all that work in. So for me, it's not just, you know, the freshman 15, it's like the semester 15. I just kind of go through these gain and loss cycles when I'm away and then when I come home. And if I could um, get rid of all of that too, that'd be perfect. All right, question number four. The Beauty Fairy has given you $100 to spend on beauty today. What will you buy? Um, this is also only kind of sort of beauty related, but I have a couple fragrances that are on my wish list. Um, the one is Hanai Mari Butterfly. I have a little sample vial from Sephora and a roller ball of it that I got um, that I, I really love. I'm just trying to be careful with it because I don't have much of it. The only thing though is that that's actually on my birthday list, so if I got that now, I wouldn't really know what to ask for for my birthday. I'd also like to try Gucci Guilty. I'd have to try it. I've never sampled it just to make sure that it's not a disaster on my skin, but I'm intrigued by that fragrance too. Either that and or maybe go on a spree at Target, uh, get some Kinky Curly and some other Shea Moisture products that I haven't tried yet because I don't make it down to Target very often. Right, this is question number five. The Beauty Fairy has given you a day at the spa. What treatments would you choose? Um, I just said something probably for my skin, like a facial. I've never had an actual facial before. Or maybe like a peel or microdermabrasion or something to treat my skin. That's kind of one of the big hang-ups that I still have. I'm still working on my, my skin. Alright, this is question number six. 
The beauty fairy has sent you back in time so you can give yourself beauty advice. What advice would you give? I would go back to myself in high school and tell myself to not start straightening my hair at all. So hopefully my hair would probably be in better condition now um, because I never did any kind of like big trim to get rid of heat damage. I've just kind of been gradually phasing it out. And I would tell myself to look up the curly girl method a lot sooner because even after I embraced my natural texture, I had a lot of really bad hair for a while because I was still using sulfates and in particular silicones, which my hair just really doesn't like. And I probably could have saved myself all of that if I had known that earlier. All right, question seven. The beauty fairy has granted you a new beauty skill. What do you choose? Um, my biggest wish for a beauty skill would be like color matching, like with foundation, because I'm trying to get into wearing um, some foundation now. And I figured out my undertone, that's the easy part for me, but in terms of like light to dark, I really can't tell, you know, which shade is lighter and which shade is darker, whether I'm looking at them in the bottle or when it's on my face, because you know, it looks different under different lighting and I just, I can't tell. And this goes for concealer too. It's a huge pain in the butt. So if I could just look at my foundation and my concealer and just instinctively know whether or not they were the right color for me, that would be a huge help. All right, this is question number eight. This is the last question. The Beauty Fairy says you can steal a facial feature from one of your favorite YouTubers. What facial feature do you choose and from whom? Uh, I was going to say my friend Waterlily716's complexion. Even without makeup, her skin is just so smooth and clear. And meanwhile, I'm still dealing with acne and hyperpigmentation. Sometimes I just feel like the texture of my skin is just kind of gunky, even though you know, I, I exfoliate regularly and everything. It just, I don't think I have the best genes for skin. So I would love to have nice skin like that. So that is everything for this tag. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you are watching, I tag you. Or even if you don't make videos, just leave a comment with what your answers would be because I'm curious. I want to see what you guys have to say. And I promise I will get back to real informative videos soon. I promise, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later.